Hey, so we are on my web page here, my, a, a web page of my website. The website is the Mormon Truth Videos Gospel Topics Hub dot Weebly dot com is the address. I use the subdomain on Weebly to keep it free and um, to make it everlasting like the gospel was supposed to be. And this page... Uh, is going to is uh, so this is a brief introductory here is all I'm doing right now the angel and Joseph in his 1823 first vision that sound a little off to somebody so um, what this is about is the first vision that Joseph's family and friends appear to be unaware of and so what I'm going to focus on here is uh, the historicity uh, or lack thereof to what we have been taught uh, uh, was called the first vision, at least in these days. Um, and I'm going to have a, a page, I think, separate discussing um, the importance of the first vision in LDS, um, well, LDS theology, LDS uh, in, in the, uh, uh, the marketing of uh, the church, I would say, as a pillar of Mormonism. And so this particular, and how I came to um, believe in the first vision being a, an actual event. Right here we're going to go over historical issues. And so, um, yeah, his family did not ever know about, they, they were not told of this. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to go over uh, statements made by uh, Joseph Smith's mother, his brother, his uh, associates such as Brigham Young, Wilfred Woodruff, John Taylor, Orson Pratt, Heber C. Kimball, George A. Smith, all these apostles, and we're going to see what they have to say uh, with regard to Joseph Smith trying to find out what church he should join or if there was a true church on the earth. Uh, an example of that would be, you know, Brigham Young stated regarding <clears throat> Joseph's initial revelatory claim that the Lord did not come with the armies of heaven, but he did send his angel to this same obscure person, Joseph Smith Jr., who afterwards became a prophet, seer, and revelator, and informed him that he should join, not join any of the religious sects of the day, for they were all wrong. And so, you know, that's... In Journal of Discourses, uh, you know, recording the discourses of Brigham Young in, there in the tabernacle. Uh, and, and so time after time, what we'll find in here are uh, these apostles stating that it was an angel uh, that came to Joseph Smith initially, and no one, including his brother William, who gives us four different renditions, you know, places where he's been interviewed in his life, and William was an apostle as well, uh, nowhere does he, you know, place that in an 1820 environment, um, and, and so we've got that, um, all that in good information uh, located on this page, so we can compare that with what Joseph Smith has to say, for instance, uh, in his, uh, you know, in his, in the Joseph Smith history that we find that he, uh, that he published in 1842, where we basically have the first time this first vision is actually published, um, much to the surprise of many, and, and it was not scripture, it was published, uh, I believe it was in the Times and Seasons periodical, and um, what we've got there is um, him stating that his family members, his mother and some of his siblings actually joined the Presbyterian Church uh, due to this revival that was going on, that sort of a thing, prior to his uh, first vision, uh, for instance. And, and we know that that all occurred um, after his brother Alvin died, which occurred in November 23rd, I believe, 1823. Uh, so it appears that his family members joined the Presbyterian Church in 1824. Um, his mother was a member of that church, an active member, we believe, till uh, was it 1828? Uh, so um, right around there.
I could be off on that. Well, I've got that documented. And, of course, these things aren't consistent with what Joseph Smith tells us in his revamped history. Neither is the fact that the Book of Commandments never mentions this first vision in it, although everything that's published about church history, whether it's the Book of Commandments, whether it's the, the rise of the church, you know, published by Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery in 18, uh, 33 or 35, along with the Book of Commandments, which is 1833, none of them say anything about this first vision that we now hear of so much. In other words, this wasn't part of Mormonism. Uh, this wasn't part of the uh, presentation on how the gospel was restored during Joseph Smith's lifetime. 1842, there was something in the periodical. We didn't get it in scripture till much later, much, much later. And it just isn't something that we see reflected in what the apostles say the story was. Everybody says it was an angel in 1823. Nobody ever heard of this God the Father and God the Son business uh, in 1820 to a 14 year old boy. So we're going to go over that and document that in this particular webpage. See you inside.